Competition is everything. You know, if you ask me in a word, what am I? I'm a competitor. You know, I'm bad at everything. Every single day of practice is competitive. Every day somebody wins and loses. Well, what's inside of kids that makes them different is the inner feeling that I'm not going to let one day go by without getting better. You don't want one day to go past that I didn't get a chance to get better. You have to be uh, at the top of your game. You have to physically bring it and mentally bring it every day or you get your butt kicked. You are constantly in game prep that never changes throughout the whole year. You are preparing for that moment even in January. That means that you're, you know, you're basically conditioning around the calendar. You, know, you have to stay in good shape. You have to work and lift. Uh, I think the guys that wind up going to the combines and the camps where they have a chance to find out where they fit and battle against the best kids in the area and stuff are the ones that, that seem to be at a different level than, and separate themselves. What I look for in a recruit is a kid that can move. And so I want to see a kid that can jump, that can run, that can, that can move after the fact. How many programs do you, worry, you hear about? How much does he bench? How much does he squat? How fast is his 40? That's so, so ridiculous to focus yourself. Oh, you're a strength coach. You're supposed to, no, that's not it. The weight room is a facilitator to movement. Schools are out there, and all they care about is how much somebody benches, how much they squat, and how much they power clean. Yeah, but we got a guy that can bench 500 pounds. Well, the first time they drag a bench out at half, uh, half time and do a bench off, okay, then my guy's gonna out bench yours because I'll start training to that fact. But until that time, game of football is about going from A to B to C and then back to D and making a play and making an impact when you get there. And the great players, the players that have really taken it to the, to the highest levels, they have, they have had all things going for them. You know, they've had all the physical abilities and then they've had this wonderful will to be great, you know, and they just won't back off and they won't go into any setting where they don't show how, how well prepared they are and how well equipped they are and, and, and how tough they are. The X factor between two kids with the same ability is want to. How much does he want to do it every time? Not, not every play. See, that's easy. Saturdays, 92,000 people in the Coliseum, that's easy to want to. But how about January 16th? All right. Do you want to go hard that day? Do you want to train at the highest levels? Do you want to go ahead and keep pushing an envelope on how good you can be? Coach Carroll said, I want to prepare at the highest level so we can practice at the highest level, so we can play at the highest level. Uh, this program is based on winning for a long time and winning forever, and, you know, and just keep on going. And there is no one game that defines that. You've got to make them understand that everything we're doing right today is going to make us better come September. I always watch these, these programs where, where a kid goes less than full speed, and I'm thinking, what are you preparing for? How can you prepare for less than full speed unless you're gonna play that way? If you don't prepare these kids at full speed, if they don't work every time they put their hand down full speed, they're not getting ready. You know what they're getting ready to do? They're getting ready to get beat. We know we have a good program. We know we have good players and a good team. It's how long can we hold that focus that allows us to keep winning well past other teams.